，格斗大擂台您进来就发财。大家好，欢迎您收看今天的格斗解说。说起刘文波这个人，可能很多人都对他没有什么了解，甚至都没有听过这个名字。但是说起中国嘴炮，你可能就有一点印象了。为什么叫刘文波嘴炮呢？是因为每次在比赛发布会上，他都要霸气释放他的血性，说一些霸气的宣言，挑起一些战斗的火花。有人曾评论说，刘文波这货。除了在格斗训练外，估计其余时间都在编他的段子吧。这说明，擅长搞笑、制造气氛，是中国嘴炮刘文波的一大特征。当然，说起刘文波，就不得不提他和美国拳王桑农里奇的那场比赛了。在比赛之前的发布会上，两人就已经是针锋相对，各放豪言。美国拳王直言：“我这趟来就一件事，就是把他的屁股打爆。你就是一个小男孩，不属于这个男人的世界。”而对于美国选手的挑衅，刘文波只回应了一句：“你看他那样。”一句话伤害性不大，侮辱性极强。没想到的是，美国格斗老将桑农里奇因为刘文波的这一番话气急败坏，甚至说刘文波是东亚病夫。作为爱国人士，刘文波当场就被激怒了，马上就冲了过去，和他在发布会上大打出手。在比赛前，刘文波放下豪言：“管他是谁，来一个我打一个。”我不和他打技术，我和他拼命。Ladies and gentlemen, b a n a m i t e of the evening, three by five minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. When the action begins, our referee in charge is Mr. Isaac Yab of China versus U.S. of A. Introducing first to my right, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a pit fighter. Standing at 175 centimeters tall and weighing in at a trim, taut, terrific 93 kilograms even. This man holds a professional MMA record of 55 wins against 82 losses, with 15 submissions and 40 by way of knockout. Tonight he's wearing the black shorts with a white and red trim, representing Team Cannon all the way from U.S. of A. Please give a warm Rebel Arena welcome to Shannon the Cannon Ridge. And his opponent to my left, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, standing at 186 centimeters tall and weighing in at 93 kilograms even. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, wearing the black shorts with an orange and white trim. Ladies and gentlemen, holding a professional fight record of eight wins against five losses, four by way of knockout, three by submission. Representing the Beijing ET Clay Club, ladies and gentlemen, this man is a two-time, two-time national boxing champion of China. Representing China, please welcome to the Rebel Arena, Lu Wei. Fighters, who set the gaze, please. All right, gentlemen. Oh, Shannon, the cannon. Myself, touch glove. Back to your corner. You know, it's one thing when you see so much hype in this era of Conor McGregor. I sometimes wonder when two fighters hype it up so much, what is the actual fight going to look like? Is it all show? Are we going to see real fireworks this night? Well, we're about to find out this fight brought to you by Hong Tu. Wimbo looks like he's going to run out of the head by him like E Honda. So, the fight started. Liu Wenbo just went straight at him, throwing a lot of punches to the American champion. But the opponent couldn't hold back, and he grabbed Liu Wenbo's leg. The two fell to the ground together. Liu Wenbo was knocked down, and he was in a state of shock. The American champion's repeated punches hit Liu Wenbo's head, making him bleed blood. 但是刘文波也没有表现出丝毫的退缩，正如他赛前说的话一样，他打的不是技术，而是拼命。Twenty seconds of the fight. Oh, this is a ridiculous fight. Let's see what happens next. If I was Wimbo, I'd be one to use my jab to establish the distance. You got to watch out for the karate kicks of Shannon Rich. He's got an excellent bare knuckle karate background and is a third degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The way that.、Uh... That Lou Wenbo came out. It's like the mind games of Shannon Rich worked because he couldn't wait to get his hands on him. And we got to test the cardio out now because man, did he come out hard? Wenbo throwing some hard shots. 
Nice. Oh, nice jab there. Was that wobbling or just steady? Uh, check hook lands for Shannon Rich. Both these fighters taking turns. Nice cover up there by Rich. Oh, nice four oh, piece. No Rich misses. is saying, let's stand in the middle and let's get it on. Inside low kick lands for Winbo. In, outside low kick lands for Shannon. Definitely the height and reach, and he's definitely uh, the bigger man is Lou Winbo. Light heavyweight contest scheduled for three five minute rounds. That's the second check hook that's landed for Shannon Rich. That's something I recommend he keeps doing. Big overhand. Shannon shoots, and he gets the takedown on Wendo. Passes, slices straight through the guard to quarter guard. Here we go with the elbows. Oh, yeah, he's taking full advantage of the 12 to 6 elbow rule, and he's already opened up a cut on Wendo. This is just, just like their press conference. He took him down. That's right. Wendo, one thing about him, he's very strong and he's very tough. He will not give up without a fight. That's exactly what he's giving Shannon. He doesn't have the greatest ground technique. But he also is very strong, and he can stand up out from under just about anyone. Shannon's already opened up a huge cut. Elbow's oh, coming down. This well, is close. The question is whether or not that cut is over or below the eye. If it's over the eye, this fight could be almost over. Wow. Massive cut. Open up by Shannon Rich on Lou Wenbo. Lou Wenbo's in a world of hurt here. Lou Wenbo did a good job getting on his side. He's got the underhook, but he's got to shrimp out a bit more before he can get to his knees and stand. And he does exactly that. Oh, he's getting back to the feet. The crowd is going crazy here Shen in Shenzhen. But Liu Wenbo's wrestling is a bit of a fight. The fight is Liu Wenbo to win. The fight is for both fighters, David. All right, let's see if we can see on the monitor where the cut actually is. I got to question the strategy of Liu Wenbo. I'm amazed the way that he came out for this fight. It's just too hard too early. And if he loses that fight, that's what I think a lot of people are going to focus on, the start of the fight. Yeah, the very beginning of a fight makes a big difference. It can set the tone for the entire rest of the match. It looks like that cut is right on the uh, inside of the eyebrow, but it doesn't seem to be inhibiting the vision of Winbo. This fight will continue. But expect Shannon to try to open up more cuts just like that if he gets Winbo down on the ground. His superior ground game is what he's going to use to take advantage of that. 这个小插曲并没有影响到刘文波的勇猛，比赛就继续后，刘文波不管自己身上的伤势，不防守，只进攻。他找到机会，直接冲过去把对手控制在自己的身下，手里沙包一样大的拳头，一次又一次的冲着对手打了过去。之后，刘文波凭借一个漂亮的大翻身，逆转了场上局面，最终以地面砸拳 TKO 对手，取得了一场精彩的胜利。这一场比赛。刘文波不仅打出了中国人的气势，也捍卫了尊严。What do you think of the cut, David, in a bad position? Well, it depends. I mean, if he stays on his back, the blood and he continues to bleed, the blood will run into his eye and inhibit his vision. Here he is getting off his back. He's got his back on the cage now, which is better than his back on the wall on the ground. But Shannon is looking to take the back at this point. Winbo should keep his back on the cage. He does not. And Shannon's on his back now, looking to maintain. Look for Shannon to look to sink the hooks as long as he. Uh... Oh! oh wow. Using that power, very strong man. And he's starting to rain down the counter punishment on Shannon Rich. Shannon's taking some punishment. Where did this he's come not from? defending. Will Where he stand? He's not reacting. Eyes are down. He's right it's there. Stopped. And he stopped wow. the fight. Incredible! How, the, how did this happen? What a Rich was totally in control. What a dramatic end to this dramatic bout. Shannon Rich still recovering. And Wimbo getting the blood cleaned off of him. Uh, Where did that come from? It, well, I'll tell you what it came from. Shannon let his hips get a little bit too high when he was on top in that position. Uh, Wimbo XQ was called a Grammy roll. He wrapped his arm over his elbow and rolled through. 比赛胜利后，刘文波只说了一句话：“不能给中国人丢脸。”这一句话让现场的观众热血沸腾，而刘文波也是吸粉无数。真正的硬汉当如刘文波，在中国这个儒释道文化历史悠久的这种赛前叫骂的场景，都会让大家有些不适应。其实。
在成熟的西方商业格斗比赛前，这种面对面互喷的情景，多是双方事先安排，互相有着默契的一种表演，就是为了吸引公众眼球，达到商业价值最大化的目的。但是美国拳王在情急之下叫出东亚病夫，足以证明他对中国人的不尊重和心理的鄙夷。表演大家互惠共赢可以，但一旦触碰到了中国人的禁区和底线，那就不要怪中国人不讲情面。永远不要低估中国人在爱国这件事上的团结一致和势不可挡的民族精神。好了，今天的视频就到这里结束了，欢迎在评论区畅谈点赞。大家有什么想看的比赛，也可以留言告诉小编。喜欢就点赞支持一下，我们下期见了。